This next story isn't necessarily serious. In fact, it's not serious at all. Uh, I just find it hilarious. So Trump is on a trip overseas. First he was in Saudi Arabia, then he's in Israel, and he's going to the Vatican. Uh, this is when he was in Israel. And look at what happened when uh, he reached out to try to hold his wife's hand. It gives me life how much she despises him. <laughs> Have you guys seen the the video or the gif of gif, jif, whatever? I'm going with gif. Gif is what it is. Um, of Melania at the inauguration when Trump is like laughing and he's up there and, you know, hey, I'm president, isn't this great? And uh, he turns around for a second and, like, gives one of these to, to Ivanka and Melania. And Melania, when he turns around, she smiles like... And then the second he turns his head away from her, her face just turns to death. And it's like, <laughs> fuck you, I want to stab you when you're asleep until you bleed out. Just this look of, like, you are disgusting. Man, <laughs> the thing is, like... Who can blame her? I mean, in the course of the campaign, we learned there were so many stories, so many women who came out and said, yeah, he grabbed me by the pussy, and he didn't wait, and he didn't ask for consent, and I didn't like it. He thought I liked it. I didn't like it. Um, there was him on tape saying that, you know, talking about, people forget he was talking about trying to fuck some host or something, you know, and this was when I think he was already with Melania, or... If he, I don't know if he's married to her yet, or if it was just before they were married, but they were together, and Melania had to hear this guy, who she's now married to, talk about, like, yeah, I try to fuck him, I buy him furniture, it's tremendous, believe me. You know, the story, there was another story, we, uh, we covered it of, uh, there was some female reporter who was doing some magazine exclusive, and she had to talk to Trump, and Trump put the moves on her, and, and... You know, Melania, I don't know if she, I don't think she, I honestly genuinely think that she didn't think he was unfaithful, or if he, if she knew he was a dog, it wasn't to this extent. It wasn't like, oh, really? That? That's what you're going to do? Fucking behind closed doors, put the moves on a reporter when I'm like two rooms over, you scumbag? And remember, it, when... Trump first moved into the White House, everybody's like, oh, yeah, no, Melania's staying in New York with Barron for a while. And everybody, you know, the stories are, oh, Barron's finishing school, that's why they're there. You think that's the only reason? You think that's the only reason why they're, why she's like, yeah, we're gonna, gonna stay in New York here for... Do I have to explain to you anything about marriage here and, and life? That, you know, what? how old is Barron's young? So you know what you do with a kid that young when daddy becomes president? All right, bitch, you're done with this school. Come on. We're going, we're going, you're going to school in D.C. Duh, file that under, duh. Well, I'm going to have the first lady all the way in New York in the middle of the city and, and the president in Washington. We're going to do that, really? Spend fucking millions of dollars a day in, in, uh, in costs for security and protecting her and them? No, you wouldn't do that unless it's not just about the school, unless it's about, you know what? Go fuck yourself. You know, you're not a good person. I don't like you. And the pieces of evidence keep piling up. There's another, there's another one of her slapping away his hand. There's the story we covered about how she liked a tweet that said, that was like saying, fuck you to Trump, basically. That was like a put down of Trump. And, but then she ended up like unliking it. And so that, you know, later on she'd be, well, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't like that. But people screen uh, captured her when she had liked it. So, yeah, man, I feel bad for her. I do, you know. People bring up, yeah, but she's a conservative asshole too. And she's a hypocrite because she's got in here because of immigration laws. And now they want to fucking burn the bridge behind them that she just walked over. Yeah, I get all that. Hypocrite. Don't agree with her politically. But she's married to a goon who she despises. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems crystal clear to me. I mean, how would you, if anybody out there, guy, girl, whatever, 
How would you feel if you're married to this guy? Even if you, for whatever insane reason, agree with him politically, if that's possible because he contradicts himself every eight seconds. How would you feel if this was a, your partner? How would you feel about that? Would you be, oh, I love him so much. No, not possible. The guy's a buffoon, the guy's a clown, the guy's a narcissist. The, and the evidence keeps piling up. Again, not serious, it has nothing to do with policy and, and any of that shit, you know. Because it's, all, of course it's possible for somebody to be a scumbag in their private life, but be an awesome president. Donald Trump is really neither, keep it real, um, but this is just a side story, person, nonsense personal story. I just found it fucking hilarious that there's just so much evidence that she's like, I hate you.